Hi, David. Morning, Rory. <laughs> okay, so um, this morning we're going to be talking about um, opportunities to invest cash in, obviously you can put it in bank accounts, but there are other alternatives as well, and it's just worth knowing about. Uh, David Walls here is from Zurich, and they have a range of kind of cash funds, which are, you know, an, an alternative to a bank account where you're getting a, a return on your cash invested. Um, so, yeah, we want to talk through these because um, there's some options there and and we at, at Beyond have actually looked at it for our own, um, you know, accounts where we had money. Uh, typically, we've used AIB and Bank of Ireland over the years. And, you know, we found that we weren't getting any return on our deposits or our surplus funds. And we were just thinking, why? Because in the newspapers, we're seeing that, you know, the interest rates have gone up now and um, we should be getting money back. And, um, you know, I, I don't know why we're not. Um, and, and, you know, uh, there are other options. And so, you know, um, David kindly has given us time here to go through the options with Zurich that we actually looked at ourselves and we've actually done and we think make a lot of sense. So, David, yeah. Um, so we're talking about like an alternative to, you know, putting money yeah. with the bank and getting an interest rate. And and I suppose we're like our clients are typically, you know, sole traders, SMEs. So, you know, they may have um, like a lot of companies, you know, don't have a lot of funds, but we do have clients that have, you know, 200,000 up to 2 million sitting in cash on their balance sheets mm. uh, typically and and a lot of a lot of times just sitting in the bank account not earning any interest rate because yeah. um even with AIB and Bank of Ireland and probably permanent TSB as well they may have a particular account that they put interest on but they don't apply the interest rate to your account so to, to get get the interest rate is a bit of a hassle. You'd have to actually almost shut down one account and open a new account, and then it could be on a fixed basis for a couple of years. So it's a bit clunky, and most mm. people just don't go through that. So they just settle that they're not earning any interest, which, mm. you know, okay, fine if it's twenty grand or thirty grand deposit. But if you're up at you know six hundred grand, there's a you know there's there could be like 30 grand a year that you should be getting that you're not, you know, which is, is sizable. So thanks for, uh, for, 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 for inviting me along this morning. And of course, in the modern era, I don't have to go along anywhere. I don't even leave my house. <laughs> um, so yeah, it, it's interesting. Um, and again, you've been quite open where we first met. And as I said, when I looked at your website and first met beyond, I, I knew I was meeting in a, a, a an accountancy firm. I didn't know it was going to be all very casual with branded T-shirts and uh, but but more impressed for me was like the way you were thinking. You know, first of all, you're thinking about um, uh, well jointly, let's say, about something you wanted to do yourself. But you were always saying to me, look, this is something I just believe, and if I believe in doing something for myself, and if it makes sense for them, I, I believe I should be talking to to my clients uh, about the same because if it's good enough for me. It, it's good enough and of course nothing can get a better um you know stamp of approval than the fact that i've done i've done it myself you know and i had a cheeky look at your account this morning and the good news is it's not it's noticeably up <laughs> so uh yeah look as you said the world has hugely changed and you know as you you know your your, your clients are across many spheres and mostly not financial um but you know everyone will be aware that interest rates are up so mortgage rates are up um, and as you 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 um, you and I have discussed before, uh, banks are very quick to immediately raise mortgage rates. You know, 15 months ago, and many of them still have uh, paltry deposit deposit rates. And that was kind of bugging you and saying, "Look, I need to do something about this. There's cash here. I'm getting nothing for it." So you know that led us to 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 meet uh, previously, and we we were delighted to be able to do some some business for you. So yeah, we what we are running is, is we run a, a cash fund which under the bonnet, um, it is a fund. It's not specifically a deposit account with an actual fixed rate, and um, but under the bonnet, it's got um series of like overnight deposits, fixed deposits, and about a third of it is in you know European government bonds. So so the cash is backed by core European governments where um you know there are guarantees from from France, um Germany, in core Austria, Netherlands. And then about two thirds of the fund is with uh, with deposits in, in in global banks. So probably important, as you and I touched on, you know, just just chatting before we we went to record, Rory, is two things I think are probably key. No, two things. I want two things. Um, that the the market has changed. So 
the cash fund um, basically gave a negative return for seven years because the underlying instruments of, of, of European government bonds and deposit accounts were, were, were negative yielding. And so it was secure. Um, you know, you weren't getting equity type movements, but you were actually getting a, a, a zero to, to maybe slightly negative return. So the world of, of higher rates ha has, of course, impacted. And when you are dealing with large global banks, um, they are, are quite happy. So we're, we're effectively, you know, a B2B, an institutional investor, albeit, you know, th there are retail people buying into the fund, um, but we're getting effectively the institutional rates for retail investors. Aggregating them together, there's in excess of 400 million, you know, and that money's pretty safe. So what you've got is you've got us dealing with international banks. So the Zurich Group has an approved list of banks, which it's constantly reviewing, and um, they must be double A plus rate of banks. So we're talking about names like, um, and they're all global banks. We don't deal with the Irish banks. We're, we're not being in any way negative, particularly towards them. But, you know, these things that when it comes to policyholder safety and security, these things are overseen by the group and they have approved banks such as um, a Citibank would be a big part of, of the deposit takers on, on, under the bonnet. Um, Sockgen, the large French uh, highly rated bank, Barclays, another another global bank. They will be three of about six or seven banks that, that we would use for such a product. And the current yield on the fund um, is is a little over sort of three and a half percent. And that's what brought people to us, Rory, because of course, inertia of having your money in your local business bank getting nothing is the enemy of, 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 of the saver. Right. Uh, yeah, I know in, in, in our own kind of decision, once I found out about the cash fund and, and like, you know, kicked the tires in it a bit, um, the two things were important for us were, you know, the the security of the money you know we don't want we didn't want risk with our funds because we need them in a year's time for something so it's not like we just want to have a kind of high risk high return investment we want a very kind of safe um you know like putting it in a bank account um and then we wanted to get the return that we felt we were not getting with the banks i think it's scandalous by the way that um the irish banks are not passing on any interest rate and i did read an article to say that um they're actually making billions of revenue on the money that they're putting on deposit with other banks or in other funds. So they're making a lot of money <laughs> and, and not passing yeah. it on, which yeah. is, I think it's just scandalous, like, you know, but anyway, I won't go there. Uh, but for us, anyway, it was about, you know, the security of the money. Um, and, you know, I get what you're saying that, the, you know, the, the funds are with the AA plus banks and, and some with government bonds. So for our view was that that was probably safer than in an Irish bank. Well, you know, because I mean, the double A plus yeah, banks don't I mean, go bust every ten years. No, that 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 that's just an absolute fact. I mean, we have you know the global independent ratings and the banks we would use and the governments that are backing the 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 the, the, the government bonds are, are 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 yeah are of high, far higher credit rating than than our local bank. Um, it, it's been hugely popular. But you lose the, you lose the government guarantee of the hundred grand. Um, yeah, that that's the, the, so. Correct. But important to note. Yeah. The the yeah, but what I we... mean that's that's fine up to a hundred grand. But if you've got like a half million or if you've got eight hundred thousand, you know, having you know a small part of it guaranteed by the government, you yeah. know, is neither here nor there. And and the other point is the government guarantee is only as good as the credit worthiness of the government that's giving the guarantee. Yeah, and again, yeah, we would yeah. be dealing with governments that have a higher credit rating than the Irish government, you know. So if your money, if yeah. your money's backed by Germany or or even some of the bigger banks have a higher credit rating that, than the Irish government. Yeah. But look, I mean, let's be, be clear and realistic. I, I We haven't seen anyone of that level and we don't have any reason to believe that any of these countries are or global banks are in any kind of... Uh, of uh, 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 yeah. uh, uh, trouble, but you're right. I mean, everything has to be backed by every guarantee is backed by something. So you can say guarantee, but then you go, well, actually, what's what's behind that guarantee? Good yeah. point. Yeah, we find um, so yeah, we, we well. certainly we certainly got assurance that the money was was you know very safe and and we you know we were happy with the return. Um, I think we're getting um, about three and a half percent is our expectation. And then we do have a cost there and you can maybe talk a little bit more about that. But like we, our expectation is that we'll net something like 2% because there'll be some charges and there'll be some tax. So we'll probably be up about two, maybe a little bit more, which is fine. That That's fine. You know, for us, that's, um, 
Now, I'm not going to say exactly how much we have in the fund, but it's in that kind mm. of region of, you know, a few hundred thousand. And, mm. you know, in real terms, that's like, you know, 1,500 euros a month to us, mm. which I'd prefer to yeah, have yeah. in my pocket than sitting with um, our, our, our pillar bank. That's the reality. Yeah. 1,500 quid is a lot of money. Saving the knowledge they're parking it with the ECB and keeping the, right. uh, you know, yeah, keep, keeping, keeping the margin. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I mean the, the the so clear what 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 we have worked with with you when you will be talking potentially to some of your customers about is is a cash fund. So it's not a deposit account. So it's slightly different. It's a Zurich Life policy. It's a fund. We even go into the nuances of that. But people are are are, are buying into um you know a a a fund with you know high level of security, uh, very little you know movement in the unit price or the return except upwards. And yes, if your if your yield under the bonnet is about th over three and a half percent, your expected return from the fund should be in that region. Um, yeah, and then you know between the product uh, 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 and uh, you know there there is a a, a charge for, for 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 running the fund of of um, you know a small per percentage annual management charge, um, and and that you know will or may vary on various circumstances with different customers. Yours, like anything, you know particularly with the size, you know, bigger amounts will likely attract a slightly lower management fee, but they're, 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 they're certainly well under 1%. And um, the other aspect, as you say, in fact, the, 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 um, there is a slight tax advantage that the uh, corporates investing in life assurance policies are investing in funds with ourselves and, and others and um, get a 25% tax rate. So, you know, uh, the, the, you're getting a lower tax rate than dirt and you're expected to get a, a get a higher return so you know it should be win-win we haven't been talking about the, the, these ones for many years because you know the returns as i say were, were, were a, you know were as paltry what has happened is you know ha ha as yields and rates have gone up you know the rates we are getting from global banks are are are, 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 are who are prepared to stump up um the, the interest rate and that's the little opportunity that you've spotted and, and that you can play you know, I think, it's interesting. I think I, I think may, maybe what's happening now is that it's a bit like technology. The big firms and the wealthy kind of, um, you know, business people had access to the best technology. And in the last couple of decades, the SMEs and the sole traders, everyone has access. It's a real kind yes. of opening up. And I think yes. that's the same in investment funds. And, and, you know, years ago, it would be only very wealthy or very big companies would have the brokers and accounts. Whereas now, because of technology and access, everyone has access to these fabulous products, you know. Hmm. So, um, like anyone that's in the world of money or is, is, is very large or has millions, you know, they will know this language, they will know these services, they will have these products already. So it's a no brainer for them. Well, I suppose what's new is customers like ours that are, you know, sole traders or SMEs, you know, saying, oh, well, we could also have a, a, an account with Zurich and yeah. we could access these funds. Um, yeah. and, and it's the right thing to do. Um, typically what we've yeah, seen- It's not with our, for you, right? Yeah, but it's it's a change. It is a change. I think there's a change in access and how it's mm. opening up for you know all companies now and individuals mm. really as well. What we've seen typically is um, clients that are either risk at first where they just want to leave the money with the bank because they see it's safe and they accept that yeah. there's no return, and then we have some customers that you know they have money on deposit and they're reading all the stuff about crypto and returns and stuff, yeah. and they take a chunk <laughs> of money from their deposit and they put it directly into crypto. And yeah. you know they might have some months <laughs> where they're winning, me. and then and then it's wiped out. So, mm. but you know neither of them is a sensible position to be honest, because mm. you know putting mm. your deposit money on deposit for no return is is not sensible when you can put yeah. it on so three and a half percent, and putting it in high risk crypto is not sensible when you're a company and you you'll have need of this money in the future. So, you know the middle ground options are are with someone like Zurich Funds because you've got funds for each mm. level. Yeah, and and what and we don't have a crypto one, and that's quite deliberate. <laughs> the the <laughs> okay. I think quite simply the advantage here is you know our funds are often referred to as pooled funds because that's what they are. They give your client with the hundred grand the opportunity to pool into and get the buying power of, of a Zurich with global banks of of a four hundred million euro fund. What's the tie-in, um, uh, David? Uh, if people buy yes, into funds, I, I had they... started to say what's hugely important to all corporate investors. So what I find different from, as you know, the most of my day job is dealing with people's pensions, and you know they're they're taking a twenty-year view. 
with corporates, there, there's a huge thing always with every one of them is, look, we have spare cash on the balance sheet today, but I just might need it next year or in six months time or whatever. So what, what we run, like all our funds, is, is, is there, 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 there's a daily pricing in the fund. So what that means to your customers is you can buy in or get out on any given day. So if someone gives no us notice under periods pound, or nothing. No notice periods, no nothing. I mean, there's the administration of giving a withdrawal. And, and by the way, it's not all or nothing. Somebody gives us 250 grand, it's ticking up nicely. Um, and they say to us, for whatever reason, in two or three years' time, we need to get 70 grand out of that. No problem. The necessary signatories put in the redemption form and they'll have money in their bank account in three or four working days. So, See, that's you really know, important. Because as well, you said, there like, are. The, the banks are, are putting two year restrictions on, on, on yeah. their top rates. So, the only stuff. reason there, there are rates probably competing with ours out there. There, thereabouts with some of the banks, but only on likes of two-year fixed-term products. So I think what we're bringing, or what you're, you're you're pointing out to your customers today, is the opportunity for the pool, the better return, the lower tax, um, and also the the fact that look, you don't have to fix in. You have got the 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 the, the liquidity there to to get some or all of your money out, literally on any working day. And David, if um, if someone say one of our clients is listening to this and they say, oh yeah, look. That makes sense. You know, beyond they're doing it, we want to return to. What's how do they kick that off? Like, I know they have to set up an account with Zurich. Does that have to come yeah. through someone like us that's a broker with Zurich, or can they go direct to yeah. you? Or what's the process no, there? No, our 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 our, our is that we all work with advisors. We want again, it's more relevant, of course, to to you know individuals with little or no business knowledge setting up pensions. We, we prefer that people have got professional independent advice. And um, as it happens, you know, not most of our, 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 our brokers are, but you are primarily a, a, an accountancy firm. So yes, the only thing we would mark, and, and you actually are more aware of this than us, as you really opened that you have opened your own account, there's a bit of paperwork at the start and there's company stuff and there's signatory stuff and there's anti-money laundering stuff. But that all feeds through to the absolute security of, of, of you know, we, we need to know, you need to have security that no one else can access your monies, um, as in you, the policyholder, or any tangent line. So, yeah, it, it's quite simple. It, it, it's very easy. Rory, they talk to you. They talked to us, and then we did. And for us, I think we, I, I agree with you, there were some form filling at the beginning, and it did take about two weeks to kind of get it all set up. Um, and, and at the time, I, I had to think through it. But it, I suppose it's like setting up a bank account. You know, like there is all that. And like, if we wanted now to go into a different fund or do something else with Zurich, we're already in as an account. So we wouldn't have that same level of paperwork. We'd just be Correct. moving within. Yeah. So yeah. I, for me, I think it's the sort of thing you might do once every, you know, 10 years. Like we're not, you know, we mm. can take money in and out of Zurich and go into mm. other funds and do other things. Like we only Correct. have to do that once. Yeah. Correct. Uh, no, I think it's a super okay. option. I think it's a great option. I'll certainly be recommending it to clients. Um, and I, I don't like the idea of, of the pillar banks, um, you know, just keeping all the interest and not 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 kind of, um, it just irks me in some way. So it's great mm. to have other options that we can say, we always could do it first ourselves and make sure that it makes sense. And we've tried and tested. It's the same when we're recommending software or recommending, you know, suppliers we always you know go first ourselves but we're very happy with what we've done so far and and we think it's um well we've upskilled ourselves a little bit and we think it's a no-brainer yeah. and we hope to do more with zurich in the future and we're very happy to have you as a customer rory <laughs> <laughs> thanks and david we'd be, we'd be very happy to have a few more of your customers as our customers as well <laughs>